selling art printables is the perfect place to start if you are considering starting a digital product business. Not only does it appeal to your creative side, but it also can be very profitable. This is actually something that I personally have experienced selling on Etsy. I was able to go from selling $16 a month to $300 a month to $400 and something dollars per month. And that is just starting out without any experience. So now that I have lots of experience and a lot of know-how, I want to show you how you could do it too. Also, I apologize for the raspiness of my voice. I'm just getting over a cold, so I'm still in the like heel process of that. One of the first roadblocks I hear from most of you is I'm not an artist, but guess what? I'm not either and I was able to sell art printables on Etsy with zero experience. You don't need to be a skilled artist or designer to be able to sell art printables on Etsy. I promise you. You can use text, copyright free images, AI, and even some simple doodling to create art printables that will sell really, really well. So don't let the lack of formal art training keep you from trying this digital product business. And today I'm gonna show you how. So we're gonna dive into my computer and I'm gonna show you the very first type of art printable that you can create. This is probably the easiest to create and that is text only. So before diving into the pretty basic design element of creating text only art printables, I just wanna show you using a tool called Everbee how this can actually be profitable. So first things first, I am gonna start my screen recording here. So I'm here on Etsy, I'm just gonna do a simple search. Let's say, inspirational quote art printable, something like that. So now we're gonna use Everbee, which once you get this all set up, it will be over here to the left. You also on the individual different listings, you'll see a little B and you can click that as well to get more detail on that specific listing. We're gonna go to the product analytics tool. This is really helpful in finding out if a specific type of product or listing is profitable. So first thing you're gonna do is go to the monthly revenue section here and you're gonna filter it. So that way it's showing the ones that are making the most money out of the listings. And and we're just gonna look through these and I'm gonna show you how this can be profitable for you. So starting with this first one here, this is text only art printables. However, they are selling 50 printables. It's a mega bundle. They've made 1,044 sales total. They've made approximately 55 sales just this month. And this listing is 19 months old, which is, you know, a decent amount of time, but that's not that old. So it does kind of show you that you can still start an art printable business and have successful sales. So this month alone, they have made $1,650. And this is just one of their listings. Again, it's a really big bundle. So let's go actually look at the next one down here so that you can maybe see it without a whole big bundle of things. So this is just a simple quote printable and text only and the estimated sales per month is 95 sales and $1,344. This listing is only 15 months old. So yet again, even though that's like a little over a year, it shows you you could still start an art printable business. People are still doing it. People are still creating these listings and still making sales on something so simple like text only. So now let's jump into Canva. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is go up to the top right, go to create a design, and you're gonna wanna do the custom size option. I'm actually gonna start with a 16 by 20 and this is where we are gonna start our design process. So my recommendation is already have some ideas of things you wanna create before you start jumping into Canva. One simple way that you can do that is using AI. I've talked about AI in a previous video as well, but I don't think I've mentioned how you could use it in this way. I use Notion AI, but you can also use that ChatGPT. It is free currently. I already use Notion as like my main platform for everything, so it just makes sense that I use Notion. I will have a link for that below, but also I'll put the link for ChatGPT, which you can do a similar type search in. So when it comes to AI, you wanna be as specific as possible. I am going to ask AI to list 10 things you could say to inspire a mom. So this might just give me some ideas and help my own wheels start turning. So just reading through these 10, you know, you are doing an amazing job raising your children. It's kind of basic, not so great for a um, art printable. You are a superhero in your children's eyes. That's pretty sweet. 
Your strength and resilience as a mom is inspiring. Your unwavering love is the foundation of your family. Remember to take care of yourself. You deserve it. You're a role model. So some of these wouldn't really work. Great things to say to a mom, by the way, but not necessarily for an art printable. I think maybe remember to take care of yourself. You deserve it. It's cute. It's kind of like an affirmation. It's something that would be really good for anyone, not just mom. So we're just going to use that as our text. And we're just going to go back over to Canva and select paste. And then we're just going to make this bigger and let's see. And I'm just going to make a few little adjustments and changes. I'm going to separate these as two different lines. I'm going to actually take this one completely away. Let's see. And then I'm going to have that as now a new line. And we're going to go up here and do like handwriting to get some fonts that are more like cursive and more handwritten. Let's see. That's kind of pretty. I don't like that. I don't like that. Um, no, no. Also, I will go ahead and recommend that you get Canva Pro. Having Canva Pro just opens up the door to so many different elements and fonts, which is really gonna help you in any design, digital product type business. So I highly recommend it. I think it's like 12 something a month. It's not that expensive. It's definitely one of the first things I would invest in if you're starting any type of business because Canva can create just like about anything and they're just getting better and better with their tools that they have. And to access a lot of those tools, you have to have Canva Pro. Let's see what this one looks like. That's kind of cute. I like, I'm very picky with fonts, so I could do this forever. I'm just gonna go back up and select that. Is it this one? No, this one. Select one of those first ones, but yeah, I mean, be picky. Make sure it looks the way that you want. I'm just trying to show you how to do this. So um, let's make this bigger. Um, I'm gonna make this like really big. There's so many things that you can do with Canva. And so you just really have to, I don't know, just play around until it looks the way you want. And again, we're just doing text only right now. So there's only so much that you can do, but let's see. You can obviously like change the colors if you want. I kind of want to keep it black font, but I'm going to make it a little less dark. Okay. So make that centered. That looks okay. 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 We're going to just stop there. Obviously, if I was actually creating this to sell, I'd probably play around with it a lot more, play around with different fonts, but we are doing text only. So it really is that simple. All you have to do is take the text that you want, put it on a design and just change it up a little bit so that it's not so like just words. You can change the background color, the font color, the different font styles, and just play around with it to make it look really good. And obviously don't copy other people, but you can take inspiration from even art prints and things that you see at like Target or Walmart or wherever you shop. You can even look at things like book covers, just the way people layer fonts to make them look good and pop off the page. Those things are super important if you are selling text only. So here's just an example. This is something that you can sell. And we saw using Everbee that these do sell. Now we're gonna talk about the next type of art printable you can create, which is text and simple graphics. So we're just going to keep using this design that we've already created and we're going to add graphic elements to it. Now, when you are using any kind of graphic elements, even if it's copyright free, most of them require you to make some sort of change that might be adding text, other graphics. You don't want to ever take something that was designed by somebody else and sell it as is. That's a big no-no. With Canva, I know people are very scared to use their elements and worried that they're gonna get in trouble for copyright reasons, but Canva does state that you can use their elements as long as you're not just reselling the actual graphic element as is and you're making changes. So if we wanna add a simple graphic from Canva to this, it is totally fine. And again, if you have Canva Pro, it's gonna open the door to so many different elements that you can use. You can 
can also go to somewhere like Create a Market and purchase copyright free images that you can use in your designs. Or you could even use AI, which is a big thing everybody's talking about now. I just did that video all about AI and how you can use their graphics in your designs. And with AI generated graphics, at least on Etsy, they again do require that you make some sort of change to the graphic. Don't just use it as is. So as long as you're making changes to any of these graphics that you receive, you're probably safe when it comes to copyright. But if you want a video all about copyright and all of these various places, please let me know and I can do a whole video on the topic. So we're going to go back into Canva and add a graphic to this text only art printable. This is definitely about self care. It's kind of giving me like warm vibes. So we're just going to go to elements and we're going to start simple and just type in self care and see what Canva gives us here. Go to see all here with graphics. Let's see. Oh, so many cute things. You know, this candle is really cute. If we want, we could add this like woman bathing. Uh, we could add like a few just various graphics that give us self care vibes. I mean, there's just so many different things that you could think of. I'm just gonna go back. I'm trying to keep this simple so that I don't, if I were creating these for myself to actually sell, I would spend a lot of time trying to find the perfect graphic to use, but I also don't wanna waste your time. I want you to be able to get on these platforms and play around with it for yourself. So I'm gonna just use this candle. I'm trying to decide if I like it below it or above it, I think below. So we're just gonna add this. I'm gonna make it smaller, maybe a little bigger. And then we're going to raise everything up. And then I don't really like just that. I'm gonna put watercolor background, see what we get there. Oh, so cute, okay. Um, do we want it to match or be a different color? Let's use this. So now we're just adding this background. We're gonna go to position and add to the back. And then I'm also gonna go up here to transparency and just bring it down a notch so it's not so like in your face. And there you go. Here is another potential art printable that you could sell, adding just a couple graphics from Canva. We made changes. It's not just selling the graphic as is, so you should totally be fine. But you can also go to places like Creative Market, like I mentioned, and purchase copyright free images so you don't even have to worry about the copyright stuff in Canva. And don't be afraid to doodle and have some fun with a platform like Procreate. I am not an artist or a designer and I have used Procreate to create doodles and little drawings and designs that I could add to my art printables that I created myself. And then you don't have to worry about it at all because you designed them. You don't have to have a lot of artistic ability to draw like a blob or a circle or maybe a flower line drawing. Some of those things are just super basic and with a little bit of practice, you'll find that you can do a few things and then you can mix them together to make designs in Canva. So now I wanna talk about the third type of art printable you can create, which is removing the text and having graphic only. All the same rules apply. If you are going to use graphics from any of the places I have mentioned, you have to make changes. You cannot just say, take away this text, take away this and sell this design. You cannot do that. This is illegal. You cannot do this. However, if you want to stick with the self-care theme, let's add this element back. Cause I thought that was actually super cute. Do what we did before. Lower the transparency. Okay, now let's go back and type in self-care again and go back to the graphics. Okay, so let's see. What other things do we like from here? I like this. That's kind of cute. These actually all go together, it seems like. They kind of all match. So these are just like a whole bunch of self-care things. I don't think I would personally be comfortable only using elements from Canva. I think I would want to play around using other elements as well. I think if you're going to do something like this, maybe adding like a shadow would be nice. Let's see, because it makes things look um, more, I don't know, realistic, like popping off the screen. Let me show you. I'm going to go like this and position this. See how now the eye mask kind of seems like it's popping off the screen. That's nice. Let's move this over just a bit. Maybe we'll add a shadow to this as well. Let's see. Go down, position that to the back and lower 
Okay. Okay. I feel like all of this is kind of coming together. It's looking kind of cute. Okay, and then I'm gonna move this and center up here a little bit. Boom. Look how cute that is. How long does that take me? No time at all, just like one minute. And again, I don't know if I personally would want to just use like three graphics from Canva and call it a day and that be my art printable. I'd probably wanna go somewhere like Creative Market. I would personally probably doodle in Procreate. I think I could pretty easily create this like cylinder vibe here on this candle. I might not be able to do the whole candle, but if you type in candle on Canva, then you would be able to find like this one here or even like this one. And then you draw the kind of cylinder design with the doodles and the diamonds. And that way it was more of your creation. You added your own elements to this already existing graphic. That would be the safer bet. You could also go through AI and have it create something like maybe the basic candle and then you again add your own doodles so there's so many different ways you could go about this but when it comes to art printables you're just creating things that go with whatever it is your theme is or your niche is now there's one more thing i want to show you before i let you go if you noticed when i created this design i did 16 by 20 and there is a reason for that if you are using Etsy, you only are able to sell five digital downloads. And a lot of people think with that, you can only sell five different sizes of your art printables, but that is not true. You can sell five different ratios. So I'm gonna pop these ratios on the screen so that you can get a good look. There is a one by one ratio, two by three, three by four, and four by five. And there is like an other section, which I will explain. With the one by one, those are your eight by eights, your 10 by 10s, you get it, you see them on the screen. Screen. If you create an art printable as a 20 by 20, then the person that purchases it from you can also print it as a 16 by 16, a 12 by 12, a 10 by 10, and an 8 by 8. So by giving them one art printable size, they can actually print it in five different sizes. The same goes for all of the different ratios. If you sell it as a 24 by 36, they're able to print it in all of these different sizes. If you sell it as an 18 by 24, again, all of these sizes and so on. Now for your fifth download, you can either sell an 11 by 14 to give them one additional size, but my preference is making that fifth download an instructional PDF, and here is why. You do not own Etsy, you do not own social media. So one of the most important things you will do as a business owner is build an email list, and you can do that using this method. So your instructional PDF will provide instructions for your customer on how to print these art printables. That is key, it's important, you're providing them free value. On top of that, you're gonna give them something for free. It can be whatever you want. It could be a tutorial. For me, I would always give away a free art printable. It would be a different design, but something that was related to that design so that I knew the customer would really like it and it was just like a bonus free art printable. To be able to obtain the art printable, they would have to fill out a form with their name and email address and then I would send them automatically this free art printable. And with that, I was able to build an email list with my customers and then be able to send them emails about promotions I was doing any sales that were going on, Black Friday, all of those things, you now have your customers' emails in your own email marketing and be able to reach out to them that way. I actually sell an art printable guide on my website that goes over all of this, but I actually include tutorial videos on how to create this freebie and also put it on something like Flowdesk so you can get the email addresses. The art printable guide includes a lot more, so if you're interested, I will have it linked in the description. And also make sure to subscribe if you are new because I am gonna be coming out with a video soon on how to create the assets needed for these listings because they're digital products. I wanna show you how to create your listing images without having to take any pictures or do anything like that all using Canva. So make sure to stick around if you want that video, turn on notifications. And if you're planning on selling on Etsy, I have a few videos about that you can check out here. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye.